Well, hello everyone. Do you remember me, Scott? The guy that you would occasionally stump. Why am I going off sounding like Kirk? There's not gonna be a lot of views on this video, but you know what? It is what it is, for two reasons. A, I'm not very popular in the algorithm anymore. Yeah, that's fine, it is what it is. Two, this video is not horror related. And uh, I'll get into that too here, hopefully. I'll do my best. And I, there are gonna be some good news for me, maybe for you, and maybe some sad news for others. So first of all, um, just following up on the last couple videos that I've done, something like that, following up on how I'm doing, answering to others who have reached out to me over the phone or they left comments in the comment section. Guys, I'm doing much better than I was two months ago. It sounds like a good number to round off, yes. I am more active because I have been exercising more lately. Not as much in the past couple weeks, but two weeks prior, oh boy, I was hitting the gym probably harder than I should have. And ironically, my job decided, well, we need to be busier during those times. So I was busier with work and I was also going to the gym. I was like, God, this is this right? But then I looked at my hours. I'm like, yeah, I am working more right now. But then I, I was like, okay, I'll go a couple times. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but I wasn't complaining about it. I was motivated, but tired. And at least I was like, yeah, I remember this. I'm tired I'm for, for good reasons because I've been busting my ass off physically more. And I'm also very thankful and proud to say, yes, I have been eating healthier. Shut the front door. More vegetables, actually, let's say the only time, <laughs> no, don't bull yourself. More vegetables, period, okay? Corn, green beans, peas, uh, occasional carrots. I'm just talking about cooked or something like that. Uh, but just smaller portions with everything. And I've noticed the you know, thing that I really enjoy more than all of this is that the smaller portions, I'm finding myself getting more, well, I'm filling up easier. And you know what? I feel a cough coming on, so let's edit that out. Oh, thank God I can edit. <laughs> Eating healthier, exercising, cutting back a little bit, but um, my goal is to go three days a week. Three days a week, because I was also concerned about the weekends that I have my son, even though he is an adult, I do not feel comfortable with his autism, leaving him underneath the roof by himself. He, he, he needs some guardianship. Granted, he, he's fine. Bathroom and everything else. I mean, he's, he does his own thing in his bedroom. Should have been Look a at all this all more space. So Is much aerobics in here? So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. But still, I could not, I just can't do it. You know, he just, he's always going to need guardianship you know, from a distance, I guess you could say, is fine. So I will at least try to make it Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays uh, that I, oh crap, I have Zach every other Friday after work. So I'll have to figure that out. But it's a good, wonderful problem to have naturally, of course. So eating healthier, beverage intake, soda. I haven't had soda or pop, depending on where you live. It's, you know, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, whatever your poison is. You know what? I feel another cough coming on. That's what happens when you become a talking head here on YouTube. Uh, yes, speaking of beverages, coffee. Gee, that's a shocker. Uns <laughs> unsweetened tea, a lot of water. You know, the sports drinks with no sugar. You know, I just, I stick to that when it comes to beverages. Usually the sports drinks is like during soccer or at the gym or something like that. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Even when I'm at work and I haven't packed a lunch. I tr if I have to stop somewhere, I'm very conscious about what snack I'm going to get. So it, it's nice, it feels good. I can honestly say it feels good, just mentally and physically. Now granted, you're looking at, the, at me right now, you're going, Scott, you look like you haven't lost an ounce. And I agree, trust me, the mirror is like, dude, stop lying to yourself. But according to that damn scale at Planet Fitness, I've lost five pounds. I can feel it in the clothes a little bit and other activities that, in other words, bending over, doing certain things. I f was so embarrassed, even if no one was around. Uh, I needed to hold onto a wall to even put <laughs> underwear on in the morning. Yeah, it was just because I was a combination of being overweight and being out of shape. So, but yes, all that stuff is going well. I'm gonna do everything I can to continue on that stride. This past, today's Sunday on the Labor Day weekend, which, did I mention that yet? 
If not, happy Labor Day weekend to all the people here that celebrate it here in the United States or possibly other parts of the world. But Friday, after work, I think that was the first time in a while I sat on that couch and just relaxed. But you know the thing of it is, I wasn't eating. I had my tea, but I wasn't eating. Huge difference. Yeah, it's one thing to have dinner, but smaller portions. Oh, I'm, just, I'm really, really excited about that. And you, some of you are like, what's the big deal? Trust me, when you battle depression, when you battle uh, overeating, when you're trying to improve these things, you have every damn right to feel excited. And if you're in the same boat, I encourage you to just share that information. So if anyone's been wondering, if I gone off the deep end, how's things progressing? Look, they're coming in my pattern of steps, okay? Doing the best I can. Depression is still like this. I know with my son's soccer season being right now, being active with that as an assistant coach, also being, well, let's put it this way. I do most of the videos. I do most of the advertise. I, what am I saying? I do all of it. <laughs> uh, that, now they needed someone, so I'm happy to do that. Um, that's the only, probably the only thing I'm really doing on social media. In fact, it is the only thing I'm doing on social media is promoting, helping out with advertising on Top Soccer. And I actually have kind of, I guess you could say, yeah, two profiles on Instagram. My personal one, I haven't been on there in a while. I just focus on Top Soccer. And I noticed, which I've got to get into right now, which I've been kind of uh, debating on saying this or not. Not that it's a big deal, but I, I was on my Facebook profile for the first time Thursday, I think it was. I don't remember on my computer and I noticed, oh crap, I, I should uh, at least respond to these messages. <laughs> Guys, men and women, I, I, I got rid of Facebook Messenger on my phone a month, two months ago. Actually, there's been times I deactivated it before. 24 seven, that damn thing was going off. Now, <laughs> you can say, just mute it. I don't mute my phone because of my son. He doesn't live here seven days a week. But when he's with his mom or his grandmother or someone else or at school, if someone needs to contact me, I need to hear that damn phone. Yeah, I could buy, you know, put it on silence on my pocket. At least I'd feel it. But other than that, I, I don't, you know, no. If it's a case of emergency, I will get the phone call. Phone call. By the way, if you are not knowing or even having the slightest clue, it's a new app on your phone. It's a, it's a, it's a phone. You could actually touch that and call people with it. <laughs> I have to tell my boss that, seriously. I, I, with my job, I do so many different things, okay? When I'm out making these deliveries, when I'm out doing installs, when I just, texting and driving should be illegal, period. Your phones should be, when I used to work for a contractor for FedEx, we had a scanner, where they have scanners. When that vehicle is in motion, the scanner, you can't operate it. Why in the hell don't they do those with phones? It has the technology, the GPS, everything in it. They should do that with all phones. I don't care where you live in this world. That's exactly what they should do. When that phone is in motion at a certain speed, it should be to where you can't even use it. Guys, girls, trust me. Back in my day, we didn't have those damn things. So we didn't go feel like, oh my God, I can't use my phone. I can't use my phone because I'm driving. You shouldn't be using it when you're driving. If you gotta make a phone call, then you pull over and call someone or text them, whatever you prefer to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm very passionate and very serious about that stuff. It just irritates the hell out of me. So I guess that's kind of why after a while with Facebook Messenger 24 seven, whether I'm asleep or I'm at work, I'm just constantly being notified with messages and it's just like, you know what, I, this is just, I, I, Am I going to end up doing a video where I start telling people to stop messaging me and look like a complete ass? Sure, I could have done that. Oh, well, it's my sandbox. I could do what I wanted to, which I'm going to try to get in that as well. I had to get rid of Messenger. It was just driving me nuts, and I probably should do the right thing <laughs> and let these people know that's been messaging me when I get on my actual computer because I can't do it on the phone to apologize, say, look, I have I even just did a video here recently discussing why I just don't do Messenger anymore. So, and Instagram, I, I get two different profiles there. I'm not even, I haven't been on my own profile on Instagram because I've been using another profile that's related to my son. So I probably have been getting messages on there too. I'm horrible at this stuff now, guys. I'm just, 
As I've been focusing on me, trying to eat right, trying to get this up here in a better place, everything else, I've been staying off of social media, it's been a huge improvement for me. So that's what's been important. And, and, and obviously important to my son and my family as well too. Making healthier decisions, physically and mentally. That's what's been the key thing. Emails, I've been basically using my business email here lately. Um, so if you've been, I apologize. It's just like, I gotta focus on, like I just said, being myself and I and my son. <laughs> if you need to unsubscribe, I understand. You gotta move on. And speaking of that, uh, you're probably gonna unsubscribe to me because when it comes to what I have been doing here on YouTube in the past, when it came to the whole horror genre, the Halloween stuff, if you haven't known by now, with my YouTube channel, the main thing about my videos is the creative content flow. It's not really much about what the mask was. Grant, they were very exciting to receive, very exciting to look at. Uh, the subjects were fun and everything else, but it was the creative flow. That's what I enjoyed the most about it. In fact, even before YouTube, I loved creating content. So I started thinking, what can I do to start enjoying that again? How can I actually get away from hopefully someday the nine to five job? How can I actually start doing things more on a regular basis that I enjoy? Well, you love creating content, but how can I do it professionally or at least work my way to that? I've always wanted to do freelance videography. One thing that I know for a fact that I'm very capable of doing, but I want to improve those skills and that's weddings. Okay. I used to do weddings. I want to get back into it. So I've been doing a lot of research on that. Now, unless you have a horrifying wedding, then I guess the horizontal can relate. But however, by focusing on how to upscale, how to improve styles, equipment, which is, oh God, a subject alone that can drive you nuts. I've, I've been focusing on that. So if you live in the Dayton area, <laughs> seriously, if you do and you're watching this video and you're planning on getting married soon and you want someone to shoot your way, I'm offering my services for free right now for free right now, because I'm trying to build up a portfolio, excuse me. Naturally, of course, if the bride-to-be and all that, if they are okay, I'd like to share that on my portfolio, at least, you know, filtered, edited versions of it. It's the same thing with real estate. I've been wanting to, I've actually, I've been contacting my realtor and other realtors that she knows that she suggested to do vague, those virtual, you know, room tours. I haven't got any leads yet, but it's for free right now. If you live in the Dayton area, Miami Valley area, Beaver, you get the idea, Greene County, Montgomery County, even Cincinnati, because I live close to Cincinnati. I'm offering my services to you for free, at least a couple videos right now. I just, I, as long as you agree to allow me to put that on my portfolio. See, that's what I've been focusing on. I've been rough drafting a website for my own personal production. And it's not the bar downstairs, it's actually something completely different. So I'm, there's a lot of things that I'm focusing on that's completely un-horror related. It's just, I, if I want to really take this seriously, if I really wanna be a freelance videographer, I need to think about what is it that I can do here locally uh, to gain more attention, to gain more opportunities to do what I love doing. In other words, never have to truly work again because if you, they say if you love doing what you do, then you never work another day of your life. So yes, that's that right now me upset a lot of you. And I understand if you feel the need to, you know, to not subscribe to my channel anymore because it's not what you enjoy. If you just don't want to watch my, I, I get that. I totally get that. I'm breaking the rules. I'm breaking uh, actually a few rules. YouTube is telling me that I'm supposed to tell every single one of you now to put a thumbs up, like and share, all that other. Yes, I know I've always had, you suggested subscribing, but I think it's more nice to simply ask people, viewers, you nicely. Don't tell you to do these things. This is my sandbox. YouTube, look, I respect you. I am so thankful for you. I, if it wasn't for you, I would have been able to share and meet, to greet whatever with the people here in the past recent years. But I am supposed to be creating stuff about my YouTube channel, YouTube, not doing what others do here on YouTube. Not telling people, viewers, to like, share, and subscribe. Telling, not asking, but telling. 
That's not cool. I should earn those views. I should earn those likes and dislikes, those comments and the subscribers. I may ask you kindly, but I'll never tell you to do it. It's just not cool. So I'm upsetting some people right now. Google, YouTube, and my loyal followers. Scott's not gonna do videos on Meyer stuff anymore and all that. Please. <laughs> Guys, I just, I gotta focus on this other stuff. And trust me, it's so much homework to do. So much things that I have to look into, especially when it comes to equipment. The camera that I've been using, oh God. I'll do another video on that maybe, but let's just put it this way. <laughs> oh, weddings, and, and I was so much looking forward to hearing a positive update about the 90D with the Canons. I know, I know, it's not a mirrorless camera. But the fact that it won't shoot 24 for here in the US, we've got 24, 30, and 60, 120, etc. But 24 frames is so much needed, especially when it comes to weddings and this new DS, I know, mirrorless. Even their new mirrorless. The, 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 what, the, okay, you have the Canon 90D and the Canon Mark II. Both shooting 4K where it doesn't necessarily have to be cropped. And I've always said 4K is not that important, but when you're gonna do something professionally, that's something I need to do. So yes, I've been doing a lot of homework on looking to upgrading to a, another camera. And I wanna stick with Canon simply because I already have other lenses that I can migrate to it. Granted, Sony is making amazing stuff. I would love to be able to have a Panasonic. Like, it'd be great if I had a, a GH5. Or had the focus on it's not as great, but you know, there's things that you work around, especially when you're doing it professionally. So yes, guys, I'm doing a lot of research, not to mention focusing on my mental and physical health. So I do apologize on the messenger thing. I do apologize on my niche, basically most likely changing here on YouTube. I still want to stay creatively involved with doing stuff here on YouTube, but uh, it may bore the hell out of a lot of people that are expecting some new Halloween mask from me. So do what you want to do on your own YouTube channel. It's your sandbox. Don't let anybody try to control you. Don't let anybody tell you how you should do your videos. Just stick with what you want to do, what you love, but be respectful to yourself. Be respectful to others. Be kind. And uh, who knows how far it'll take you. Just always try to find out what's best for you. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and upsetting others along the way. Trust me, someday you have, you, you'll probably come to those crossroads too and you've got to make the right decision on which way you should turn. So thank you so much if you've come this far along from watching. You know what to do about everything else. You subscribe, all that other stuff, it's there. I still might put it up on the screen. I don't know, but I'm asking. I'm not telling you to. Right? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I got someone here new. <laughs> I almost forgot, I was gonna say that earlier. Yes, I decided to do something else. Why not have a new family member? Um, I rescued a cat. Her name is, check this out, Isold. That's how they pronounced it at the rescue center. Beautiful place. Real close to the Oregon district, by the way. Jim City Cat Fay. Really cool place. Uh, it's a place where people could go in, they can interact with some cats that are needing a new home, or if you're just simply wanted to help support. They have, it's a coffee place. <laughs> yeah, they've got things going on. It's just a very beautiful, extremely well clean place. And I uh, walked in there after doing some, you know, homework on this, thinking about it. And I was gonna pick out this one cat. Her name was Phoebe. Smelly cat, smelly. If you're a fan of the Friends show, then you know what I'm talking about. Just a beautiful cat. But I was told, you know, she'll come to you when she wants to. She's a diva. She, that's the best way to, to describe it. She was a diva. And I went to go try to pet her. And she swapped my hand. I'm like, okay, then. <laughs> uh, you're not for me. And then I'm like, you know what? You got to do the smart thing. Let the cat choose you. So there was about probably 12 to 20 cats in there. Huge place for them to just live life to the best. Well, this one cat came up to me, started rubbing up against my legs, just super friendly, real pretty, white and gray, kind of like cow markings, I guess you could say. And 
I was like, let me think about it. And sure enough, it's E-Sold, I-S-O-L-D-E. I've been calling her Easel. <laughs> well, it just it just rolls off the tongue. I was going to change her name completely, but I think I'm going to stick to Easel. Who know? But she's 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 been here now since Friday, and she's adapted pretty well. In fact, she's doing what cats do right now. She's back there. I think she's found a spot that she enjoys. Um, I had to actually move Zach's bed further away, but she, there's this little cubby hole. She likes sleeping there. But other than that, she's all up in my face now. She loves the attention. Um, and she just, she's, she's starting to dig her new home. So yeah, maybe another video you might see her. I don't know. She hasn't got up on the bar yet. She's got up on everything else, but ah. <laughs> be interesting to see. So yeah, I'm sorry. I almost forgot to share that news. She's about two years. She's a real, oh, and the previous owner clipped one of her, I can't remember if it's a left or right, just the very tip of it. And I, that just, I was like, man, that's not cool. But no, she's not scarred by or anything. But she's she's pretty cat, real soft coat. So I hope everyone's having a safe and healthy, even though another incident happened here in Texas last night. <sighs> People. I'm not going to get into it. All right, I'm shutting up. I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn the fan on. I had to turn off. It's too much noise. Drink some more coffee and relax. Probably edit this video. I hope to see you soon, and I'm sorry to disappoint a lot of you uh, horror Halloween fans. But then again, like I said, never say never. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.